That's... Okay, that was weird. My microphone disconnected. But hello, and welcome to City Cruise Live. Today we're going to continue with Danganronpa, and hopefully it doesn't crash. I started this stream a bit earlier than usual because it will usually crash. So let's try and get through this trial and maybe get further in the game. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it does not crash today. Fine, I get it. You're telling me to pass the torch, right? Pass the torch? We're going to ask the real killer, not an imposter like me. <laughs> You're obviously the killer, right? If you think I am, I really don't mind. Whatever conclusion you ultimates arrive at, I will accept it. No matter what it is. He's so weird. I know we've already done like a bit of this, but you need a refresher. Has to be Chef Boy. You're the only one. Terry hey, Tim. Tiger. Could it be you? I'm surprised you're here because I started a bit earlier than usual. Huh? What? What are you talking about? Terry Terry's the killer. Is that true? What are you talking about? There's no way. Of course, that's simply my assumption. So if you have an objection, please speak freely. Uh, objection or not, why am I being treated like the killer? Because the portable stove used in the murder came from the kitchen. That's it? That's the only reason you're treating me like a killer? You're cruel. Cruel. Too cruel. I like his character. It's a bit sad that he's probably the killer and gonna die now. Ah, Teru Teru. That attitude is so not like you. Or the ultimate cook to get so upset. Call me chef. If you fall to aspersions like this, who will be there to support the future of the culinary arts? The, the future of the culinary arts? That's right. For the future of the culinary arts, you must face this and fight it fair and square. You, you're right. How yeah, did that convince him? That's totally right. So what's an aspersion anyway? Is it yummy? Did you know asbestos is yummy too? Nagito, okay, why are you interfering? Messages. Let's assume that the killer used a light. And that they used the fire door to mask that light. And that they moved to the storage room and snuck under the floorboards. Then what? It's dark under the floorboards too. So how would they be able to stab Byakuya? You're not That's right. What do you think about that? That's... There's no way you can answer, right? You personally haven't investigated what's beneath the floorboards. If that's the case, then Gundam should know. He... No. Unfortunately, there was nothing related to the incident under the floorboards. The only thing I found was a strange liquid shining in the darkness, near where Byakuya's blood was dripping. What? That sounds super important! If there was a shining mark like that, they would have been able to move to it in the dark, right? And in doing so, it might have been possible for them to use that mark to target the victim. Okay, so what's my problem? The victim was targeted by a mark. What was the mark? What is the mark? Goggles or 
just the knife that was glowing. Now I'll try this. Crap! Okay. How, how was it? No. Did I already do this in like my previous stream and I just completely forgot? <laughs> That's something I would do. What, his case? His Deirelium case? That's the only other thing that could differentiate him. Hmm. It's a knife, I don't know. I can prove it with oh, okay. this! That was it. The mark you're talking about is the glowing paint that was applied to the knife, right? Ah, by using the glowing paint as a target! They were able to judge where to stab, even in the dark! I see. The killer didn't target an actual person, they just struck the moment the glowing paint moved. Oh, so they didn't even care who they were killing, they just wanted to get a kill. And just, Byaku was unlucky enough to, uh, get killed. That would be the moment someone grabbed a hold of the knife! So, the killer used the mark that I prepared for finding the knife as a mark for stabbing. I see. That's why Byakuya got killed when he took the knife. This doesn't sound like a well-planned out murder, because how would they have known that the knife was going to be there and everything was going to line up for them to, like, get the kill done? But if they were able to do that, wouldn't that mean the killer knew about Nagito's plan all along? Well, Teru Teru! S seriously I don't know anything. Really, I don't know anything at all. Then can I ask everyone a question instead? You again? Just stop already! I'm not liking Nagito, he's like Makoto but evil. Now, now, we should give everyone a fair opportunity to speak. Are they, like, helping each other? If Teru Teru is the killer, that would mean he went to the storage room during the blackout. And just what did Ibuki hear during the blackout? Ah! Don't step on my feet! What the hell? What's going on here? This, this is... Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? W wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Like, to be fair, he could've... He left. No, you have to... You have to remove these obsessions with really bad people, okay? But... Technically, he could've just said that while he was under the floorboards. Like... If he was able to get under the floorboards quick enough. Could have just fed from there, but okay. She heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall? Doesn't that prove Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout? That's right! That's exactly it! But Teru Teru was in the kitchen the moment the blackout occurred, right? So, why was he in the dining hall? I, I thought the blackout was only in the kitchen, so I panicked and ran out of there. Of course, the hallway was dark too, but somehow, I managed to move along the wall toward everyone's voices. Well, it's not that far to move along the wall from the kitchen to the dining hall. That sounds fishy. If I remember correctly, you can tell when a person is lying by licking their sweat. So, if you want, you should try licking me. I <laughs> know. Ah. Uh. He is quite the character. No way! You look greasy! Okay, I'm gonna keep saving regularly. Just, okay. Maybe it crashes when I go through the conversation too quickly and like can't keep up. I don't know. But then the game would crash, not my whole computer.
Oh yes, that's not bad at all, Tiger. I'm worried for you. But I heard Tara Taro's voice in the dining hall! Ibuki swears on her honor! That's right! Teru Teru was in the dining hall, not the storage room. Which means he's not the killer. No, that's not it. What? Why do you want to keep falsely accusing me? It's not like I want to. You seem blame pretty you. angry for someone I who's just... falsely accused. You should be so proud of yourself, Hajime. You're just progressing toward the hope you believe in. Now, Hajime, show me more of your hope. Will that be enough to crush Teru Teru's hope? I don't know what his thing is. Like, what's his... what's his thing? Why is he being like this? Why does he... be so mysterious? Alright, maybe it's not Tetsurutsu. Maybe it's someone else, but I cannot think of anyone else that it would be. Let me ask you again. Did you go to the storage room during the blackout? There's no way I went to the storage room. I was somewhere totally different. That's pretty fishy. I definitely heard Teru Teru's voice. It's handsome, unlike his face. Maybe it was recording or something? Nope, definitely a live voice. Right, as long as I have her testimony. The fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I think it's catch on the floorboard. So he could have used the floorboard. Could have been under the floorboard. Let me ask you again. Yeah, that must be it. Did you go to the storage room? There's no way I, I was somewhere totally- I definitely heard- It's handsome! Maybe it was recorded. Nope, definitely- Right, as I long as I have I... her test, the fact that I was in the dining hall cannot be disputed. I'll yeah. shoot through that contradiction. I don't know why Nagato's trying so hard to defend him. Just there. because we heard Teru Teru's voice in the dining hall doesn't mean he was literally in the dining hall. Huh? But why? Remember the floor in the dining hall? It was full of gaps, right? So even if you shouted from under the floor, it should have sounded just like the voices in the dining hall. But, 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 but. I see. So he brazenly shouted from under the floor to make us think he was in the dining hall. Is that true, Teru Teru? Hold on a second! Well, he didn't deny it. Can you explain this, Teru Teru? I told you to wait a second, ain't I? <laughs> what are y'all even saying anymore? I'm telling you, I wait. was in that there dining hall during the blackout! What happened to his voice? Why do they always change their voice when they get angry? It's like a completely different accent. Where are you from again? I was born in West Asabu and raised in South Aoyama. Hey, you guys! This guy's a major liar! If Teru Teru was in the dining hall during the blackout, he should have been there after the power returned, right? Well, I believe so. There's no way he could have gone back and forth in that dark hallway. Huh? Was Teru Teru actually there during that time? I, I sure was! I was there the whole damn time! What accent? What even is that accent? It's like, I don't know, Ameri it's definitely some American accent, but I don't know which one. Something like this shouldn't be decided by gut instinct. People's lives are at stake. Damn right! You guys should have been deciding this on the spot with your hazy memories! It's an American accent, right? Some kind of weird... His one. accent is getting even worse! <laughs> He's definitely lying! However, I am not sure. I believe that he was there, and I believe that he was not there. No! Oh, is there any way we can decide? Why don't we consult his memories? Gosh, yeah, don't be saying things like that don't make no sense. Can you even prove I wasn't in the data hall? Is this like Hawaiian? I don't even know. I probably can. Oh, 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 you again! What? some questions at him. Oh yeah, if he knew that this happened, right? Hmm. 
Yeah, let's try that. I can prove it with this. If you're claiming that you were in the dining hall when the power came back, then you should know how Mikan was positioned at the time. Well, what? No! <laughs> Don't make me remember! It's so embarrassing! Don't give him clues. No, this is a very important question. Well, Teru Teru, if you were really in the dining hall at that time, you should know the answer to that. Huh? Huh? Um... It was a pretty clever way of tripping. Thanks for making There's us no way you'd forget game. about it so easily. Eh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I think I she's just like something so unsightly. Like it feels like the only reason she's in the game is for fan service. How about it? You can't answer, Teru Teru. Um. Um. Huh? Uh, huh? That's weird. Just yeah, that slipped weird. from my mind. So weird. There's no way it would slip from your mind, especially not a pervert like you. Uh, um, even so. Nagito, say something! Hmm. I guess you might have to give up now. Wait, give up? What do you mean, give up? So they were definitely working together. Teru Teru. I'm disappointed too, you know. It's lonely watching someone I admire reach the limits of their hope. It kind of feels like a broken dream. Nagito, what are you doing? Why are you messing with the killer like that? Well, hold, hold on a sec. Don't go moving this along on your own like I really am the killer. Huh? But it's already decided, right? I can't tell if it's Nagito or Tetsuru now. <laughs> it must be him, but... The murder weapon hadn't been cleared up yet, Chef! It's no use. I can't understand him anymore. It appears he's saying, the murder weapon hasn't been cleared up yet. You understand him? But it's such a sad defense. This is too cruel. Oh, you calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? Come on, Manumi! Enough with the whimpering and translate! Um... He said, if you're calling me the killer, then where's the weapon? The weapon, huh? It's not the knife, right? Judging from Pyakuya's wounds, it was a thin, edged tool that's roughly five millimeters in diameter. The meat skewers... Also, if they stab from under the floorboards, the weapon would need to be at least 50 centimeters in length. After all this, who cares about the weapon? Not good enough! Not good enough at all! He said, not good enough. Not good enough at all! I understand it. It's not that bad. Fine, I got it. Let's try thinking about what the weapon was. What are doing? What are doing? Okay, I did not... <laughs> okay, I said I understood him. I was wrong. What? Wanna do it? Don't it? What? Um, he said, try to do it. Okay. What a confusing accent. Thin edge tool. It is the meat skewer. Dang it. Oh, okay. Skewer. Meat skewer. Yeah, that must be it. Oh, they're coming from below now. This game's pretty easy now, but I know how to actually do it. Ah. Okay, I need a M, don't I? Or am I thinking of the wrong thing? Maybe it's one of these. But I don't know what word to make then. Maybe it's I, because I has got a lot of things. Oh, it is. What, what is I? Ick. Err. Okay. No. What is that word? What is that? Oh, iron. Iron. <laughs> ah. So bad at words. I am. Is... 
Skiwa. Skiwa. Skewer with an I or an E? I thought it was I. A with E, right? No? I'm so bad at spell. I guess it's an I. Oh, wait, no, there's an E. There's an E. Thank you. Thank you. Now I need a W. There we go. Now I need another E. And an R. There we go. I got it! That's it! The weapon must be the Iron Skewer! Huh? The Iron Skewer? Before the party, as Byagiyo was confiscating all the dangerous items, he spoke to Terror Terror. Yep. You checked the weapons list and there was one Iron Skewer missing. So that missing Iron Skewer is the weapon? An iron skewer would match up with the wounds perfectly. Hey, Teru Teru, where'd you hide the iron skewer? Ah, uh, uh, oh! <laughs> Avril Lavigne! Avril Lavigne? What kind of. Okay. Avril Lavigne? Huh? Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. Yes. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop! Littering is the main problem here right now. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Probably hid it in the cloth in the storage room. Which means... It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh! Finally, we're nearing the end. Conde Kimon is surrounded by Soul Shield and simply will not listen to what you have to say. It will probably take you to commend the boss mate, but also boss right. Okay, yep. You must argue against your opponent to destroy their Soul Shields. A high speed dispute battle where you beat down a panicked opponent excuses and no answer. That's the bullet time battle. Okay. Panic talk action. Okay. During PJ, you must destroy all your opponent's soul shields you can deal with the final strike. Or do that, you must destroy your opponent's remarks. Well, oh, it's the tempo thing, is it? Oh, okay, right. Okay. I think this is slightly different to how it was in the previous game, but I'll just, I'll learn it. To focus on pressing L, please wait another time for the L. Oh, okay, there's no other features right now. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yep, cool, cool. Oh, wait, what? Four words correspond to... If you press the button right away... Oh, I don't think that's the difference. That was not feel all from this final argument. Okay, there's so many rules to this. These little mini games. Oh. Oh, 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 whoa! Okay, I'm gonna just save here, just in case the computer crashes. Okay. What the hell you even say, you YouTuber cutter, hey? What? He said, um, oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hick? I guess we have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. Let us find out. Okay, if your eyes go over there, hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to survive. The murder was all... Could have been in the food. I'm not hiding that thing! He said, I'm not yeah, hiding that thing! I'm not hiding that thing! Alright, let's reveal. Right. Pretty sure we let we hit it in the storage room. Oh, what is this? Shut what? up! The 
That's impossible. Wait, am I? I don't. I'm... Nonsense. <laughs> Unforgivable. Do I just keep going with the tempo and just like? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let the game do its thing. Well, I don't know. Muted. Am I? <laughs> That's so impossible! Bad. Nonsense! Why? I don't I don't understand. Oh we have to lock on to them, don't I? Unforgivable! How do I unlock on? Oh wait no, I'm doing it. Wait. I guess I just keep going with the tempo. I don't know. I don't understand this right now. Unforgivable! Okay there. Where wait. would the weapon be? On the meat phone. <laughs> yeah, that didn't make sense. <laughs> That's impossible. Wait, what? What is the sentence you're supposed to make Nonsense. of that? Unforgivable. The meat on the bone on meat. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Where would the weapon be? On, on the bone meat. Oh, which one? <laughs> What's the right way to put That's that impossible. sentence together? I'm so bad at that. Where would the weapon be? Meat on the bow. This is the end. Ah, there we go. Ah. On the bone meat. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything. Th that's clearly impossible. I mean, that's inside the food! Impossible. That's what Bjarke and I thought. That's why we overlooked it. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. What now? Well, I, uh, I'm using my right to remain silent. <laughs> There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now. So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye! All right. Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. But like, oh, I guess we could add it back into it. Like... One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll Wait, I'll hold on a second. Time out, time out. What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over. Uh, about that. Huh? What? Where did Monokuma go? Did he go and get the meat? I'm right here. <laughs> All right. I'm already eating it. Just don't eat the iron skewer. Uh, I feel like that's something you would do. Meat. Wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. Oh, no. oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild. You're a robot. This, this is bad. Seriously, this is really bad. My, my. There's something inside the meat! I wonder what it is! Look what came out! Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that... Oh, he made it look like the, the bone. Is that... Right. An iron skewer? Check it out. The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction! Encased in bone and sheathed in meat! It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya! As expected of Teru Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. Why I'm not we... the kind of person who would kill someone. Why would you even try to deny it at this point? Unless you had, like, good evidence. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me. Yes. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Jeez. What a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. 
Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito? I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? <laughs> Shut down. What? Okay. He <laughs> said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor, loud mouth, fast food eating hicks. You, you don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can <laughs> tell what he's trying to say. Never, never, never turn away about cooking all your grapes. <laughs> oh, I like this character so much. I sadly he has to die. <laughs> Let's just deal with Nagato later. More importantly, we should first. I guess we need to settle this. Once to do that, we need to go over the entire incident no, from beginning listening. to okay. end and make everything clear. Cool, cool. Okay, this is that climax incident, whatever it's called. So, we need to do it. Yep, cool. Clo climax closing argument, whatever it is. We'll give you a complete summary. Okay, I've done this before. I think I know how to do it. Unless they changed it in this game. Yep, okay. Closing arguments. Let's try and do this. Alright. Okay. Oh, they actually have words now, so it's actually kind of easier. Um... Wait, are there only five things this time? Though? Oh, wait. Are there only five? That doesn't make sense. Weird, okay. No. What would go here? Oh, putting it in. <laughs> Nekumaro is holding it in. <laughs> Again, why? It looks like they've made it a bit better though. Okay, she's guarding the building. I think that's right. Okay, so they do it on the spot now. Instead of having to wait for the whole thing to finish. Okay. Maybe, um... Yeah, okay. At least they do this now, where they actually... But I only have these four things to deal with, and so many other panels. I mean, how am I supposed to... Do I get some back? Or do I have to go through everything? First. Okay, but how- I need more things. How do I get more things? Because I'm pretty sure none of these, except for the meat, don't go on something. Did I miss a control? I must have missed a control. Put down, navigate page, move cursor. Is that it? How do I get more hints? Or oh, whatever. At the storage room, the pool's blackout. Oh wait, no, this is... Oh wait, that's already there. Like... What am I supposed to do? Okay, the meat bone will go somewhere. I'm guessing, like... Parish? Oh. Ah, uh, this this is this is definitely an annoying part of the game. Especially I don't have all the clues that I need. I don't understand. Uh go there. 
Okay, cool. Okay, there we go. Now I get all the other things. That's a bit weird though. I'd rather have all of the clues at once. The air conditioners are turned on. I think that's already that. Keeps eating during the blackout. Of course you would. I am turned on. Can we go there? No. Oh, my heart's gonna fall. Run out. No, it has to go somewhere. Unless, oh, maybe that's already it. Do they actually have a... Hey. This is my... Yes, retry. We will never give up! The only problem with this, like, part of the game is that it just doesn't make... They don't give me enough information to really know what I have to do. Like, I guess that's... the game. But like, I don't know. Oh, they mix it up every time. Okay. Starting the closing the fire door. Did he actually do that? I think wasn't that a miss information? Oh wait, no, he did close it because he needed to keep the stove light from seeping through. That one. Oh, let's just so that's already there. The door's already closed there. Maybe I don't. Or does he do it there? Oh, this is so annoying. You can help me out if you if you can. I know there's a stream delay, but if you figure out something, just let me know. The killer obtained a light. After exiting the dark hall. I don't think that goes there. Oh, it does, okay. <laughs> uh, Bat Fiacqua is the best, okay. Night vision goggles equipped. That'll be... Here, I think. Fiacqua. Oh, yeah, these... The text at the top definitely helps me a lot. Bet at... That happened here. At the office room when the lack had occurred. Easy turn on. Okay. Same scene as the office room and dining hall. Okay. I'm getting through this. Something switched on. Oh, the light. Knife glowing in the dark, that's what Biakula saw? Oh, okay. Obtain at the storage room. Tablecloth, okay. What's found under the table? Knife. Yep, okay.
That one's already used, so we don't need to use that. Now gonna try ducking under the table. That one should go somewhere around here. Right? Ah, uh, yep, it's already used. I heard it. Ah, oh, okay, that goes there. The iron switch on is the only one I can think of that will work. Yeah. It'll have to be something around the start. Yeah, right. The yeah, iron's turned on, okay. Oh, what? We still have to use, okay. Okay. Here's everything that happened in this case! <sighs> we did it! We did it, boys! Let's try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Okay, back to my talking about what actually happened instead of them. So, Yaki we were at the party, in the dining. and he was, uh, he was protecting the case. Everyone was protecting things he really wanted to poop, <laughs> and she was pooping. The one person, but and Tetsuru, oh no, Nagato they put on the three. irons and the aircon at the same time, so they would create an, a blackout, and then the blackout happened. The air could thanks then, to the irons. Biako that... put on his night vision goggles that, uh, and became the hero he... that we needed. Nagato tried to go under the table, but Biako saw him. He saw that's right. The murder. While while all of this was happening, the probably... Tatsuru that's why the killer probably... was using the sto stove to uh, light they it needed... to see in the dark. They needed a weapon. Then he got the weapon from the meat skewer. The long iron. And then. He closed the fire door so With no one first. would see his light, and then he walked to the storage room. Where he then, put on a cloth for some reason. I guess not to get blood on him. That's right. And then he went in to do his deed. With this, they probably turned off the, the floor in the- Then he used the mark on the floor to stab But thanks to the Biakua. While Biakua tried Under to protect everyone. By stopping Nagato. If only he had. But then he was laying down on the floor, and he got stab stabbed. The killer. Death, death. The killer had been. And that's it. Everyone screamed. After they murdered purposeful afterward. But Tetsuru was not in the room. And then. And he just put back the skewer into the meat, so it's like only nothing special... happened. Which is kind of disgusting, because then people were going to eat the meat. Isn't that right? With the blood Hanamura. in it. I hope you can hear me over the t over them talking. It's kind of match volume. I hope it's not like too much. That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? Th this is a mistake. A mistake. I tell you, I would never. I would never kill anyone. Would never. What's the point of denying it at this point? <laughs> it seems this is the end. Wait, I shall save again. Just in case. Don't want to do all that again. Stop denying it. Oh, the voice actor for this guy. Had to do a lot of work. There's 15 different phases in this game. Oh, this is so long. Okay, cool. I got things there. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Oops, I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? 
Well, they did have some Biakua blood in it, so maybe. Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve-wracking voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone! If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier! <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you I make the know. right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! Yeah, guilty. I don't know why he denied it for so long. Let's see how he dies. Correct! Yahoo! Oh, I have to go back to reading now. Yay. That's right. This time, the blackened responsible for the killing of Byakuwa Togami is Tetsuru Hanamura. Are you serious? Out of all these people, are you saying, uh, Ponce, Pounce, Ponce, like him, is the one who killed Byakua? <laughs> but why? Why did you kill him? You, you've it was got a it mistake. Wrong. I'm telling you, it was just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. Hey! I was only trying to stop Nagato from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party, and then I heard a weird laughter near the dining hall. And when I peeked over there, I saw him. I saw Nagato in the middle of the cleaning duty, putting the knife on the table. <gasps> Maybe Tetsuru is a nice guy. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing, and I saw him place the irons as he brought into the storage room and mess with the air conditioner timers. Plus, he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So I questioned him. When that when happened, that happened he... You caught me? Oh, I've been caught. What? I've been caught. Hey! What are you doing? What are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. Wow, okay. Just say that right away. <laughs> Tetsuru, just let you just to let you know, it's pointless if he's of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely stop the killing. Impossible! No, no matter how much you want to leave this island, that's just I see, so that's what you think. Well But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. Oh he's crazy. What? <laughs> I love everyone here, that's why I haven't... I want to be... of good use to them. I love all the ultimates, and I admire them for their symbols of hope. Amazing! That's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talent from the bottom of my heart. That's why <laughs> I don't want to lose them, lose against something like that, like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose, no matter how daunting the despair they may face seems. I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. No, 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 no. What are you no, no, no. I don't understand at all. See? See, isn't it typical that if you, face a, if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I... I want to see the bright that brightness. And in order to see it, I'm going to become everyone's stepping stone. I want to make your hopes shine. It's as simple as that. Okay, can we agree that he's crazy, Tiger? <laughs> he's crazy! That's right, I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. You're kidding, right? Don't tell me. You're actually serious. Man. So you don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. <laughs> I'm just a obsessed, an obsessed fanboy, so it's all right that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. 
Okay. No way, no way, no way! There's something wrong with you. <laughs> really? Do you think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with you? Hey. But isn't that what love is? What? Nagato, what is the meaning of this? Explain it to me. I don't understand anything about the story at all. See? You see, if you have a favorite boxer, don't you want him to win against a strong opponent? Don't fuck with me! You better not compare us to that! What? Uh, am I wrong? It's a given that the trials are necessary to become strong. And the harsher the trial, the stronger you will become, no? <laughs> For mere humans, killing are simply... Killings are simply a tragedy, but... For worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate us their status to an even higher level. Amazing! It's amazing to, to me that someone as untalented as myself could become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone else's trial. Great! There's no greater honor than bec becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. What's going on? Stop it! Seriously, you're starting to piss me off. What's going on? I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically want to commit murder for fun? <laughs> no, Tiger. No. It's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it look, I look the same in your eyes. I... I've no intention of surviving and leaving all of you to die. Is that why you don't mind when Tetsuru discovered your plan? That's wrong. Or perhaps that was intentional too. Nagato wanted to involve us in the killing. Plus, it'd be better for him to if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Teretsu? You expected it to pique Teretsu's curiosity? And you look forward to the mystery becoming more complex. Well... No, Tiger! Your... Your brain is messed up. You need some unmessing upness. If you think Nagato is a good guy. Or attractive. Well, you're basically right. It's true I was looking forward to that. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage. I found while I was cleaning- clean What?! That was your doing? You're right. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. Hey, 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 hey! This dude, he's seriously bat- mm, crazy. He's insane. <laughs> That's right. That's why I tried to stop him, you know? However- But why? Why did you kill Byaku instead? I don't know, because Nagato was the one who was supposed to take the knife. Well then you're crazy to like a not good person that you know that's not good. You're crazy. I aimed and thrusted a skewer, iron skewer there. Whoa! But why is Byaku the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagato, not him. Byaku probably tried to stop Nagato from grabbing the knife, and then in place of Nagato. Nope. No, I don't think that's it. Perhaps... Byaku was try probably trying to protect Nagato. What? What did you say? See? Because Byaku said so, didn't he? I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you all. How would he have known of Tetsuru anyway, though? <laughs> could, could it be? In order to keep that promise? Hmm. As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles. I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And then someone aiming for Nagato. Why? So, Byakuwa gave his life to protect Nagato, even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Byakuwa is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet, such despair! I never expected an ending like this. Such despair! <laughs> what? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. No way. Could it be? You knew Byaku would protect you, so you set him up to fail? Someone like me? Of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. You are crazy! I just took some precautionary measures. The results of that were going to be fun for later. Just kidding! How unexpected! But I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Tetsuru. But why? Why? <laughs> well, because Tetsuru decided to commit his crime because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, 
I thought he might truly be the person who, whose existence I was waiting for. <laughs> I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. <laughs> nope, I'm pretty sure you're crazy. In order to, for me to confirm it, I decided to help Tetsuru. Just, in, just don't f go for a crazy people and I won't think you are crazy. It's as simple as that. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. Well. Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Tetsuri. After all, he wanted to kill me but I ended up killing Byako instead, you know? If I left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? Isn't that right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. Right? No, they aren't. Not when they're this kind of crazy. Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Tetsuru? Man. In the end, my help was just just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Tetsuru. <laughs> but you should be proud of yourself. I will not die in vain. Great! You will become a splendid sacrifice to everyone else in their hopes, so their hopes can grow even more powerful. Impossible! Sacrifice! Shut up! Shut up! Seriously, stop it. I'm going crazy just listening to you. Hey, hey! Hey, listen. Is it really okay for us to just leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Huh? Isn't it better if we just kill him off? Yeah! Kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. But the person who's going to get killed now isn't Nagato, it's Tetsuru. What's the matter? Boo hoo hoo, did you, did you forget? Because I told you already at the beginning, right? If the Black and Killer loses, a fun punishment of eight awaits them. Wait! Hold on. No, 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 no. That was, how should I put it? An accident, no, an act of self-defense, not uh, intentional. Anyway, I feel it's possible this is not my fault. Hey! It doesn't matter if it's an I accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still a murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. Hey! Isn't there any other, anything else like sympathy, judgments, extenuating circumstances, or maybe even probation? Impossible! I don't accept any of those claims. Th that's. I'm not crazy. Crazy people don't know they're crazy. <laughs> so you know you're crazy. So that therefore you are crazy still. Save me, guys. I know. I was only trying to stop Nagato, so... Why, you? Be honest. After learning about Nagato's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out you if you killed him. Uh, him after messing up his plan, right? That's what I, you thought, right? You're wrong! You're wrong. Mm. There's no way a person who has no malice would kill someone like that. In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagato, and willing to sacrifice anybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. That is... Tetsuru. Why? If only you didn't try to kill Nagato, Byako would still be Answer alive. Me. Why did you try to commit murder? Answer me, Tetsuru. <laughs> I had just wanted to go home. I needed to go back home no matter what! No you aren't, Tiger. No you aren't. I can tell for the fact. Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate Hope Peak Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have to do my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. Oh, sad. Just put an illness in there. Great game. Make me have feels. <laughs> I know that already. 
I know that already. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full-fledged cook and save the Hanamura diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! <laughs> but if we were told our memories were stolen, and that several years have passed since our first day, hey! then what happened to the Hanamura diner? What happened to my mum, who's still waiting for me? So, you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? What's wrong! I still don't believe it. There's no way I can believe it. It, it has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home! I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still had a place to call home. <laughs> Tetsuru, you? I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe it. It's not that Tetsuru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else. That's why he kept denying it, because he believed it. He needed to not deny it. Damn it. If only we knew how he felt. Something like this would never happen. I... I wanted to confirm. But any means necessary, I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagato's plan. I found out he was going to kill someone. If... I left him alone. That's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So you wanted the first kill. I'm sorry. It doesn't mean that I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do, and I ended up killing Piakua instead of Nagato. Ah, I see. I think I'm the one. Who I'm the went one who went crazy. crazy. That's true. <laughs> I see. I see. Interesting. Um, but. As far as the motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mum is so boring. What? So, yahoo! It seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't! Jeez, get out of my way! <laughs> well now. There, now that the annoying little sister has been d dealt with, let's get back to business. Oh, wait! I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but, but at least... Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! Hey! Call me Chef! No, way. that's not what I... P please! Please tell me, at least, what happened to the Hanabuno Diner? To Mama? Let's give it everything we've got! Oh. It's punishment time! You'll never know. Lies! I won't believe this! <laughs> Sit back and relax and watch the show. I kind of wish he would have stayed a little bit longer. He was a funny character. But someone has to go first. Uh, I hope there's no copyrights on this. Uh, I'll probably be copyrighted. Uh, we'll see. Deep fried. What's he doing? Well, that would definitely kill him. <laughs> That's a quick death. Alright. Well, a quick death's a good death, I guess. Although somehow he's still alive. Oh, he's actually like deep frying him. Okay. Oh. Okay. Just to say, the graphics are quite better now. Although I do miss the 2D, 3, 2.5D kind of thing. Still has it, but not as much. Extreme! Wow! 
extreme. Yeah! <sighs> the adrenaline is rushing through me. Damn it! Are you serious? Blah, 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 blah. How cruel! Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Wah -wah? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you blabbermouth someone, the teacher writes in it in a note and makes you whoever you blabbermouth read it in front of the class. No. When that happens, only then you do you think about how it feels to be a blabbermouth. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the one who dro drove him to do it. <laughs> so cruel. This is just too cruel. Nice. Well, it can't be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing game. Killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Hmm? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? Why didn't you tell the, you tell Tetsuru about his mom or the Justina? He had the right to know. He asked you. you. We all have the right to know. Bastard! Hurry up and tell us. What Nick? What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. <laughs> You're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of. <laughs> but I never told any of you guys I'd tell you right away. What? Not. Fair. Of course! I'll keep my promise to return your memory someday. But it's not clear when that someday will actually be. Oh, he's so evil! <laughs> <sighs> I must excuse myself as well. This is something I need to do. Huh? What the heck? So cruel! Then. Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid! That's really you stupid. Such despair. An ending like this is just so full of such despair. A serious tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as a symbol of hope, you guys need to keep doing what your best. You. Why are you smiling? Crap! How could you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm too sad, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart. I truly love all of you, you ultimates who inspire hope, and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! <laughs> Please, kill me at any time. What? If you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. Someone like me? If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. You. How messed up are you? Hey. Yes, you are. Because you're crazy, Tiger. Even Nekomaro just said he's messed up. Which means you're messed up because you like him. You see, if I do that, then the, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's not really that big a deal. If you're a student of Toast Peak Academy, if you're a symbol of hope who possesses the chosen talents, great. Then it shouldn't matter if you guys, to you guys at all, if I cooperate with the killer, right? You fiend! <laughs> Declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey! Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us to not kill him. Well, well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Biakwa. I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting! Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all of the despair that comes through you. One, one after the other. <laughs> You're not normal at all. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You pissed me off. Hey, I want to punch you. I just won't be satisf satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. What? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stings. I felt you were quite similar. What is that? Isn't that right? You hold on to special feelings towards Hope's Week Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said himself, we don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no, if it's 
true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. Okay, please, feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do! Wait! Oh, hold on! Please stop the soldiers! Nothing will come from this fighting. There, there's something else we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen! We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important we must do. Let me ask. Which is? Do our best. You fiend. Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall work, all work together to do our best. Do our best so we never have to come here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do. I am sorry. I'm sorry if I was a better... If only I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. <laughs> You're totally right. What we need to do right now is to do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that is right. Like... But what do we have to do? What do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best. Okay. Jeez. Jeez. I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well? It's fine if I, you don't know. What matters is that we hold on to that feeling. You have to do your best. Right? So let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But... Because you're not normal! It's scary, but... Doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagato said. I'm gonna do it! Alright, I don't know what you're talking about. But let's do our best for now. <laughs> yes, let's just do our best. It doesn't matter what we're doing our best at. Just do our best. Just, just do the best. Fine. Very well. If we are not able to change the future, I guess I shall change my tomorrow. <coughs> Damn fiend. I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul to fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. I'll, let's definitely work together and leave this island. Why does it look like a giant Mac or oh, iPad on the side there. Pretty sure that's just a giant iPad. Weird. Do our best. We kept using the phrase over and over again, even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continued it over and over again without stopping. Thus the curtain had fall fallen upon the class trial where Byaku and Tetsuru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. Alright. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of my bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no reason. No real reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully look up at the sky. And there, just like before, there was, there it was, the night sky, brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands, like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I could go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right. I'm definitely going to go home. That's when it happened. As I started, to, uh, as I stared at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence in, of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with this sensation. Isn't this? Is someone watching me? What? What is going on? What is this? Hey, chapter one, finally over. Oh, that took so long. Mainly because my computer was crashing. We would have finished it yesterday. There's only 14 students left. 
to be continued. Three Michelin stars. Okay. A wooden stick. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna save. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Alright. I'm gonna end the stream here, but I'm gonna continue right after. So I will be back. I just wanna split it up. So it's like all neat and tidy when I upload to YouTube. Alright. So I will be right back. <laughs>